Okay. It's a fan art, not fan art. It's a cover art from the Stephen King's book Cell. So technically, the yeah, it, it might have, it might have been the artistic thing that the phone right. splits. Mm. I think it may very well just be a reflection, but yeah. Mm. Like that door I find. <laughs> yes, that like just like that bloody door. <laughs> Quite literally. Yeah. I have had it with these bloody, <laughs> bloody cell phones in this bloody city. Uh, this bloody environment. I, I still mm. love that giant picture where the guy is just like, fuck this life. Yeah, for fuck's <laughs> sake. Mm. Sees the giant monster just rampaging through the city and just like staring yeah, at it. What the fuck is that? Mm. This I found while looking for a mist monster in Google search, and oh my. I found something like that. Did it take Stephen King's novel? Nah, no, probably not. Never not really. Like the, in the mist, Stephen King's mist, it, that, that kind of person wasn't there. No, but it could have been there, just you know. And yeah, after another song, it's like at uh, <laughs> this time, no matter what you do, like uh, on the radio, there's like a here. Uh, this is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. This is You're the all fucked. Broadcast system. <laughs> You're this all is not fucked. a test. <laughs> Assume the necessary position. Well, so what are we going to do? So, are we going with my uh, uninformed idea of taking the uh, rubber bullets? Mm. I think you'll realize that they aren't evil when they're all white guys rioting, and then you just pull out pull out your guns and realize they're zombies. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, I assume <laughs> the robots would be like the sidearm. Mm. Think less zombies from all of that George Romero movies. Think more of a hate plague infected people from Twenty Eight Days Later. As it say, yeah. So it's the rage virus. Got it. Mm. Shit. Yeah, what happened? But yeah, I'm not good at keeping things because you will know that sooner or later. Not players, but uh, not player characters, but the players. That what happened at 11 p.m. is that the un uh, these guys as a military plane dispatched a pathogen over the city, and then uh, at 11 p.m. the radio station released a. Uh, powerful, like full signal. The test signal was at uh, 8 p.m., which uh, did basically the first testing signal was at 8 p.m. So that's when the crazy evil guy Vincent, Vincent Hasek and uh, uh, the Jack Stevens went like crazy. And now full signal gets sent out to the entire city. Okay. Hate plague. Let's blame awesome. Let's kill some zombies. To be honest, we should probably stop the signal. But yeah. I mean, the signal. This is not continuous. This was just like one bleep signal done. Everybody did. Mm. I mean, not everybody, but yeah. Basically, the fun stuff is happening at the city right now. I have an idea. Tell Once it. we know what's going on. Do we know what's going on yet? Mm. But we're you probably go... just driving around shooting things with rubber bullets. <coughs> I mean, mm. as you go... Like, do we know it's zombies yet? As you hit the streets, you kinda see... You see what's going on, that there is like a... At first, it looked like a major, like, disturbance, riots, but then you look closely and you see that some people, like, attacking others, like, trying to tear them with clothes and, like, bite into them. Uh... Yeah, so there's like a cannibalistic shit, and there's like an overall chaos and anarchy going in the village. Like people trying to ransack the like ransack the shops, go hide in the homes, but there's like a madness just going on. I need an axe. What do you Fucking need an axe zombies, for? Zombies, man. Zombies don't exist. So, what's your idea? Um. Remember when we went to the radio station and there was an mm -hmm. army truck sitting there? Yeah. yeah. Just tell, give me a moment. I need to say this thing. I know. I know. Uh, I probably when I started DMing that I figured out, nah, this won't be truly horror session. It will be something else. 
This is, I know this is not a horror situation, but I love how completely detached we are from this situation. Like you crack, <laughs> yeah, people hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> It's mm. like, oh, the, it's just, oh, it's just, just a giant riot. We should go get some heavy equipment to quell this. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that's that's the, pretty much the trouble that I made. It's that, oh, it's a hor, oh, it's not anything supernatural or scary. It's just crazy shit happening. Mm. Yeah. And generally, when something big <coughs> like this happens, you kind of go into a shock and kind of just, you know, things will turn out all right, just in case I keep calm. All right. If they start coming for us, just start... Who's driving? I Arbor. imagine... Yes, I would be. I, I just Give say, if they start me... coming towards the car, just start spraying them with automatic fire. Give me a quick approach. Okay. Quick. No, it won't be enough for the... Uh, basically, what was going on as you were riding on the city trying to understand the situation and, like, hold it off... You were passing by a petrol station, and you were oh not, and you were not close to it. But you saw from a distance that suddenly, like, one person lost control, and there was like a, several people fighting in there. It was visible, and then suddenly there was like a several visible sparks out of nowhere. You didn't, you are not sure where did that shit happened, and then you just saw white. And there was like a. <laughs> entire fucking petrol station goes up in the flames and the shockwave comes to your car and you are not quick enough to force control so suddenly there's like a screech and then uh, your police car uh, tumbles over like at least two or three times not tumbles over what's the word in english rolls rolls over like two or three times you land you end up landing on the roof Fuck. Shit. Did everybody buckle their seatbelts? No, I didn't. I'm dead on the back seat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so. Why didn't you buckle your seatbelt? Why would I do that? <laughs> dead. No, I buckled my seatbelt. <laughs> Stu, Stu lost a vital part of his body. He'll never be the same. <laughs> Poor headless Stu. <laughs> no, I thought of a different part. That's what we met. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what my what my <laughs> little toe? Yes. Anyways, my thumb. I I start climbing out of the van. Mm. Uh, hey, so do, do I. Thing. Yeah. No, I sit in the van while it burns. It's not burning. It's just upside down. Yeah. It'll burn soon enough. Yeah. Oh well, I get out. Mm. Everything will burn. <laughs> Let's just set the world on fire. Ah, baby, I didn't want to set the world on fire. Mm. Mm. Make, make a pyromaniac character and Some set everything on fire. Some people just want to watch the world burn. You know, make a pyromaniac character and set fire to everything, including the haunted mansion, the police station, <laughs> and everything. <laughs> it's like, what do you do? I set fire to things. What things? You know, how, you know how evil it would be if we were at the door we couldn't open? We simply set something on fire, screamed that the building was on fire, and if you want to live, you'd better get out of there. Anyways, if, we should get back to the plot. Yes, let's do that. Mm. Yeah, back to the To be honest, I... <clears throat> One, because I mean, I'm not playing too much more, like, the my main question for me would be, like, what is your plan for the characters? Because as the time will progress, it will be very clear that military itself is not stepping in inside the city. It's, like, mostly uh, focused on creating a quarantine cordon, like, nothing goes out. And the remnants of the police and the uh, citizens, they are, they will be clearly losing the fight against the infected people. Mm -hmm. All right. So. So the question now, the the only question I have for the players, because I don't have like at this point like prepared much. Like, what is their game plan? Um. Are they planning to fight to the bitter end or try to find a way to get out of here? Not get out, obviously. <coughs> I right. say we go toward we go to the asylum. 
Yeah, no, we're That's still silent. stuck in the city. Mm. We have to figure out a way to get out of the city before we do anything else. I imagine they wouldn't. They probably wouldn't be watching that way. Especially if we just took off mm, into the woods. Not really, because it's uh, it's going into the mountains, and yeah, they they have a potential plans, napalm or something, in the future, n near near future. But yeah, for oh. now they are focusing on the outside roads. If somebody like if somebody tried to escape from the. Right. The town, so, to the, the village to the other towns, like to the Big Fork, Creston, or Kalispell. They are just covering these roads. So, Stu, what do we do? We all know how much of a... How much time you spend alone, so you probably watch a lot of movies. Alright. <laughs> and it's very clear that this city is going to hell very quickly yeah. and rapidly. Yes, yeah, we both right. watch expectantly at Stu. <laughs> there's only one place... There's only two places we could go. A gun store and a brothel. Or a strip club. What about the mall? That works too. Uh, hmm, I wonder. I'm kidding, there probably isn't a mall. Yeah, no. because, I, because yeah, I never lived in a thousand person people village, so I'm, or towns, so I'm not sure if American towns like that have malls. Mm -hmm. How many would they have, Zach, you know? Mm -hmm. I know. Where I live, there's a mall, but there's also a decently large city, plus all of the other surrounding areas, where most of the places are also classified as cities. So a lot of people actually live where I do. I live in about 20,000 um, people city, and there's like four malls here. In I, I imagine this would look so. like when uh, me and uh, Simon were doing the geo search, and we just got put on a road, and there was nothing about farm. Forever. <laughs> and we just mm. had to guess where it was, because it was just farm after farm after farm <laughs> after farm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there, were, there, there were, like, almost no trees. So it was just farms to the horizon. Anyways, um, we should do what Stu says and go find... Uh, Gun gun shop because I'm are, sure there aren't we, any brothel brothels. We are police. This is Nevada. Why would we go to a gun store? We can because just get guns. We have guns. True. We to get bigger guns. We have two assault rifles, handguns, a all shotgun, right. all right. ammo. All we need is our car. Mm. All right. So we go to the uh, used car salesman, used car shop. Get a big, get a big hammer. So as you are, were planning, you kind of realize that yeah, the hate break starts surrounding you. So if you are, so yeah, basically when you will need a forceful to power your way through the objective. Hurry! Right, so, with our powers yeah. combined. <laughs> basically, what I with our powers, the, with our powers combined, quickly get our ass out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, maybe okay, so I won't force you to make a forceful, but... I'd rather do quickly as well. Yes. Yeah. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we scrap <laughs> like hell. <laughs> See you guys! <laughs> and, I have eight... <laughs> <laughs> and I have a uh, plus two to... because of sprint, so that's eight. I mean, yeah. possibly fast. Stu disappears in a, a puff of smoke. You say behold! <laughs> you say fuck you guys, I'm on my own! Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, do we meet anything on our way to the used salesman? <coughs> Probably several people we're who not were meeting them. infected, so... We are requisitioning a vehicle from the used car lot. Mm. Um, it's now government property. See ya in hell, and then we We're allowed to do that because we're police con conducting an active investigation. Yes. How good is this car? Yeah, I'm really not sure. We get a Hummer. Anybody believes that bullshit? Active investigation. There is fucking. Zombie we are we are investigating how the hell to stay alive. You can come with us oh. if you want. Uh. Nah, he doesn't. Like the guy who was there, like he either. 
was shooting at something or he was just in the process of getting eaten. Oh. Mm -hmm. Infected. Okay. We we get the biggest truck they have. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, I think single hammer will make it. Mm hmm Alright. Let's get out of here. So what's your next step? Towards the asylum? Okay. So as you as you leave the town behind you, you hear like more shooting, more screaming, but also some like like some kind of a bombardment and at least like one or two explosions in some parts of the small town. Maybe another like sound of a helicopter rotor going around the area. So, yeah. Of Little course. do we realize there's actually a zombie in the trunk. Mm. Mm. And he's called Stu. No, and he's just going to escape with us. And we're just <laughs> going to end the world by releasing him. The problem is they don't spread the virus. Mm. True. So all we could do is use him as evidence against what happened here. Who knows what's going on. Anyway, so you arrive at the asylum. Alright. We have two options. Hide in here, keep going up the mountain. Uh -huh. Do we have enough fuel? There is no Probably. road to the mountains. Uh -huh. Does the truck have four-wheel drive? Someone use a fate point to say yes. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see how many fate points we have remaining. Yeah, it has four wheel drive. Fate point, if we get it, otherwise, no. Mm. I mean, you use your fate point, you will get it. Yeah, but with the us, <coughs> that's a problem. Mm. Okay, like you, you can try to go through the mountains even there are, if there are no clear paths, but that will require one and only like forceful approach. You are powering your way through the mountains. And Is the target, anyone else good at force? The target number will be high. This will be hard. Not me. No, nobody has any good force. Okay, let's just hide in the asylum instead. Shall we? Mm. I don't think that's a good idea out of character. In character, I think it's a horrible idea. Mm. It's not... Uh, it's... Come on. No one's going to expect it. It's such a bad idea that no one will expect us to hide in there. It's a 50-50 chance whether hiding here is until, worse than what's out until there. Until they nuke the city. We're not far away enough to survive that the radiation. That will probably not happen. And you know this. And if they did nuke the city, there's no way possible for us to get away faster, fast enough to get away. Yeah, that depends on how soon they nuke the city. If they nuke it within the day, we could within a day we could probably make it. If, it, if it's within an hour, probably not. Oh. Alright then, I guess we're forcing our way through the mountain. Hmm. Mm. Alright. We three. Two plus. Can I get gain one plus for helping him? Give him one plus for helping Give him, him and a fate point for five. E minus one. Uh, Give Zero. Me a moment. Uh, we hit a tree. <laughs> we there died. Is, there is no, there is no eight action. There is create an advantage action. But how do you do that? Create an advantage. Uh, I essentially put out a road map and check out. No, wait, that wouldn't help that much. Um, I I keep track on the road, telling him whenever whenever something odd comes up, while he, well, he keeps track on it. Hmm. And Stu just stares out the window. Mm. Can you use a fate point? You have one, I think. Yeah. To do another roll, so oh, forceful. Ah, uh, wait. It's no real use <sighs> of rolling. The chance of you getting anything good is pretty worthless. Nah, sorry, that's not good enough. So you do not create advantage, and we free. <coughs> okay, so that's not all total. Do, hey, just a question. Do I have to... If I... Can I create an advantage? Do I have to roll higher or do I have to do something else? Mm. 
That's mm, the already you try to create an advantage, so you have that. No, I mean I can use a fate point to re-roll. Mm. That's what I meant. How can you tie your? <laughs> eh, wouldn't have helped anyway. Oh well. Okay. So basically, okay, you have a tough choice to make. You can simply fail, or you can succeed, but a serious cost. And I will tell you what the cost will be. And it will be very serious. She would take the serious cost. Yeah, we have no other choice. Okay, so you start no, going... I'm, I'm, I'm saying who would take it? Me? Uh, uh, I will take you, it. You will see. That, that the cost will be probably the outro. Like, we'll, we'll, we will leave untold the exact nature of what happened with you. Okay. Well, as long as, as we don't die, it's probably worth it. Who knows, maybe you'll die, maybe not. We, will, we it, have to repopulate the world. It will no, be un, unsaid what happened next and what happened with you. So, <coughs> basically, if this was a TV show, I imagine the last shot of this series would be this massive hammer that uh, was powering through the mountains apparently, but sadly it ended his uh, life while going from a like not going up but going down downwards through the stones and whatnot and the the wheels and the fuck I completely forgot the words describing the parts of the car the, tires the tires and the stuff that makes them like tying together the axle yeah and the axle like basically they didn't exactly after some time they just were too much used <laughs> So possibly one of the stuff just went off, there was slightly less of a control and like there's a scene where the hammer, empty hammer is lying like front is completely destroyed after meeting, after a high speed impact with either a huge tree or a big rock. Uh, the inside is uh, empty but there are like some small signs of uh, blood, probably somebody was injured in the um, in the accident and like small signs like going they going outside of the hammer into the deeper parts of the mountainous forest into the dark as from the other side there are like sounds of a powerful explosions, fire and all of that stuff and there's like a when you look on the horizon and you don't see the exact fire, but you know that the fire is going on, you know that kind of the effect. Mm. I did up all more nukes. Mm. I just Probably. want to end the, this session with Stu uh, groping uh, Cordelia's ass again. <laughs> uh, I suppose I would end it with me smacking your face across the face with a batoon, and then everything fades to black. Mm. Do, we do, don't do, know do, who will do, live do. or who will die. We are yeah. terrible people. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We probably made it out alive. Hey, mm. hey we played the cards against humanity. I think we already knew that. Maybe you did, maybe not. Who knows what happens with you, what happens with anybody else.